Welcome back to the Auto Looks Tidbits File. I am your host, as always, the doctor to the automotive industry, Mr. Everett J. himself, coming to you from our Auto Looks website and now YouTube. Check us out on YouTube, Auto Looks, and some of our many great podcasts through Podbeam and our site. Today, we're taking a look at what's going on in the world today, September 24th, 2021. Last night, we heard that Michigan is going to be putting up a test track on one of their interstates to push through self-charging cars while moving down their interstates. Great news for companies that are associated with this and great news for EV lovers all around. Now you can power it while you drive. Uh, Addison Lee Taxi Corporation in the European Union is now signing a deal with Volkswagen for over 200 cars per year for the ID4 electric to move themselves into a new electric cab company of the future so stay tuned to see how well addison lee and volkswagen corporation stocks pan out due to this increase in ev technology the model s plaid i don't know if you've seen videos from yesterday the model s plaid going head to head with the superbike Superbikes have been famous for never being able to be beaten, even by the likes of Bugatti. Tesla Model S Plaid now has the acceleration and the power to go up against these bikes. Tesla, the Plaid, is now going to become a great seller and a high-demand product for the performance world of electric automobiles, knowing that you can now take out a superbike. Rivian, I don't know if you saw this, Motor Trend's been testing out the Rivian R1T. They even brought along a Ram Rebel TRX as their assist vehicle. Unfortunately, once they hit the dirt, they found out that the Rivian R1T is actually more capable off-roading than the Ram Rebel TRX. The evolution of electric four-wheel drive trucks, inclusive of tank mode and crab mode, as we've all seen from Hummer, is going to set the stage for four-wheeling in the future. No more stopping to change gears. No more stopping to lock your diff. You're going to be able to do it right away and get right in there. Now, we're all talking about the chip shortage. Everybody knows about the chip shortage. This is something that's been going on for a long period of time. Now, if you got investments in any of the manufacturers for chips for the automobile industry, great for you because you know they're booming. But automobile companies are still pumping out vehicles knowing that when the chip shortage finally comes to rest, they're going to have tons of models that could slam their chips in and send off to dealer lots due to the increase in demand. Now, if you're smart like I was last year and bought a vehicle before any of this happened, you would have got a vehicle before prices did increase and demand wasn't so high as it is today. Used car sales right now are through the roof as well. Starting to taper out, but they're still there due to the chip shortage. Now, EVs. I don't know if you just read about this today. Tesla wants to go after states, and they want the Biden administration to start nailing ICE companies for not abiding by the recommended EPA for the fuel economy. They want them to start taking charge and nailing these guys when they don't meet their energy efficiencies. News to Tesla, how about you guys start posting how much emissions come out of all your mining operations for the products that go inside of it? When you all know, if you listen to my podcast about First Cobalt Corporation in Cobalt, Ontario, having the only dedicated cobalt refinery in North America, being one of the only ethically sourced cobalt you have to ask tesla you may be decreasing carbon but are you better for the world and everyone around us now if you found out today september 29th is going to be a big day jeep is now going to unveil their regular grand cherokee not the grand cherokee l seven passenger they're going to be releasing their standard five passenger grand cherokee which is supposed to be coming along with a phv model Jeep is now moving into the electric world. Now with Stellantis buying them, Jeep is now poised to become the main division that will not leave the Chrysler Corporation by the end of this decade. So putting money down on any of the Stellantis divisions from Chrysler Corporation, Jeep is where your money is going to be at. Now Toyota 
just released today that they're going to be utilizing a new hydrogen engine in the next Prius. Now, these are only speculations right now, but knowing that Toyota does not want to jump into bed with electric because of all their case studies they've done against electricity and the demands that we create, create in their home country of Japan, they're still pushing for hydrogen. So the next Prius may be utilizing a hydrogen engine to help power its mobility past the electrical sources. And lastly, but not least, the Ford Maverick. We've all seen this thing, the Ford Bronco Sport with a truck box, the Maverick. Now the Maverick Ford is now pushing it out. This is a vehicle to bank on due to its inner city abilities and the rise of the crossover utility truck market, even in North America with the rise of the new Hyundai Santa Cruz and the Honda Ridgeline and soon enough, Volkswagen is going to have their own products. And there's even a possibility that Ram might even get into this by bringing either the Ram 1000 or making the Dakota along those lines. The Maverick does have videos online which allow you to learn how to install track lighting and a compressor. Ford is doing this to build up ambition for this vehicle to get more and more people into the sales rooms to buy them. They're a great vehicle for inner city commuting people especially people who live in major cities that don't need a full-size truck to move everything around. The Maverick is great and it is one of the vehicles we bet on for the foreseeable future. And that's it for today from the Autolux Tidbits. I, myself, Everett J, would like to say, strap yourself in for this one fun wild ride from Autolux.